Hi and welcome, my name is Chowom and we're continuing playing Atomic Heart. So last time we've got here to uh, White House, we have fought with a really strange Robert. I don't understand his uh, original uh, occupation, I don't know what he was made for. So. In the days of what uh, I know, so this cartoon. What's that? Ah, well, they told me that my 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 lighthouse was gonna be ripped out of the ground and brought from Sakhalin to Kazakhstan by the robots. Well, I, I figured they were drunk. But nope, it's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like a museum exhibit. And I'm here too. Like another exhibit. Now sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, the machines do everything. Lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. Let's see what's there. But what the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere? Huh? Exactly. What are they guarding? Let's see. Chemistry. Oh, so there's nothing here. Hmm, interesting. Let's go back then. So, uh... Lighthouse Keeper was here. And he actually don't know why they keep him. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific function. Okay. Let's see. What do you have to show? Ooh. Wait, what? Unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Uh, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So, they actually... So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. A rapture. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechunov asked you to return to Chelome. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing cat and mouse with her. So they mix two Bioshocks in one. Like, a city in the sky, a city underwater, everything here. But they are not secret. Oh, hello. What are we doing here? What do you want? Yeah. Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sejinov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. I've got questions. 
Where are we? Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... How did you get in here? How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Dropus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. What's Only wrong? Sechenov can revoke my With access. Her movement. And he's got his hands full Did right now. Did you see now. that? And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure. Fine. Come on. I won't waste your time. Okay. Lead on. Okay. Okay. We'll see what you've got there. Ooh. Interesting. Well, are you ready? A little bit impractical to run in these on these heels. What the hell? Fuck is this place a haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for collective. Oh. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it limbo. So he one of these, and apparently. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! Yeah. This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the it's world? It's easy to control. People run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? <laughs> Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. Yeah, good point. <sighs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Not really convincing. Yeah. I, I mean, want to hear what he's got to say. This is better. 
Like, I mean... That he... Tr P2, P3. Mind is never free. What? A man to be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Yeah. Why do you help me? Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care? And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you work here, then why didn't you try to stop this? If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. Yeah, but when I realized everyone. what was really going on... <sighs> I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... Uh, you know the rest. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your... Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. Yeah. It won't hurt so much. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. It's about Victor. Listen, about Victor. I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Of course you're not. You were just doing your job, right? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. I loved him when he was... different. He was kind, understanding, and didn't kill people. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon, this is going to happen all over the Soviet Union, and later, the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying what atrocities? Thing? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Why he's a monster? Like, he he cannot undo it, right? That was actually their choice. He's not wrong. Yeah, like he can be a little bit more sympathetic to this, to their problem, but that was actually their choice. They chose wrong, but still. Data deleted. Uh, Comrade Savuhin will no longer be under surveillance. The man is no longer walking anyway, so I say let him head back to his precious Moscow if he wants. Miracles are rare, but they do happen. The holidays are coming up anyway. Long this is microphone recording copy. A recording of a conversation between Dr. Sechenov and Petrov has been appended to this message at uh, M. Stockhausen's request. Comrade Sechenov, Collective's control interface has to be reconfigured so it can only control robots. I won't allow this device to be used to control human minds. Victor. We're men of science. There's no room at the facility for emotions or politics. Follow your order. What? Listen, Comrade Sechenov. I don't have a problem with a certain wise intellect setting the course for all mankind. What I do have a problem with is who you see in the role of Demiurge. So this is about personal relations. Well, whoever told you you were the worthiest of the worthy, huh? Yeah. Who put you in charge of history? Do you think you're better than everyone else? I see that all that romantic melodrama at the theater has had a real effect on you. Shall I assume you're refusing a direct order? Yes, I am. Now what? Are you going to kill me? 
Victor, I don't know what you think of me, but I would never stoop to something so, well, something so primitive. Yeah, you will do something much worse. So, that's definitely a... Uh, Okay. Can explain his behavior. Resist. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? What's you this? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? <sighs> Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? No. Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossod polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles, why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the archive right now. There will be records about you. Hey, Charles, why you don't talk? State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Oh, huh, nice. Crispy Critters. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. Okay. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles is so not Charles person isn't anymore. a person anymore. Just a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Did. Uh, how can you talk how can about you talk this? about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides. I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. Okay. So, 
How do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Okay, okay. Charitan Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Charitan. Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. Must so, be which one do you done. want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Wait. Yeah, let's we'll see what we have here. Date of uh, Vavilov Archivist Semoshev Vavilov Archive Deb. Department. I've gone over the materials for the Science and Life article, but in nature, there is no completion within the same species only. Ah, uh, okay. Complaint. Avila Farkovic Samoshev. Okay. Kills Attitude. Report Vavilov. Double check this data, especially about the Dendelians. It's clearly in error, but are we supposed to do with 40? Tons of dandelions on Mars. Make dandelion wine. Submit the archive. Accept live magazine. Archive conversation. Article by Tom Wolf. The acceleration of evolution. Hmm. That's a lot to read. I don't want you to sleep because of that. What? This one? Um, get over here right now, please. Something wrong. Develop dumb and dumber. Uh, please change the workspace sign for Klima and put them as far from each other as possible. You should be ashamed of yourself. Develop. Such enough. The agent's tests have yielded impressive results. While immersed in limbo, this seemingly fragile young woman literally becomes an invincible fighter. The implication for training sabotage specialists as well as our overall approach to secrecy are enormous. The fighter's memory can literally be wiped without harming their skills or personality. The term sleeper agent will take on a whole new meaning very soon. Nechayev has emerged from his year in rehab a new man with new habits and behaviors. For example, he's become fond of a certain euphemism crispy critters it all started after one of the medics described him and blesna as crispy critters during his recovery he was still in a coma at the time he suddenly leaped out of bed and nearly strangled the medic to death the staff subdued him by shouting we're under fire after which plutonium ducked for cover hit his head and passed out ever since then Crispy Critters has become part of his vocabulary. Could it be an example of psychological imprinting? Yeah. What? Uh, Prevalov. I went to psychologist for a checkup and requested. Okay, 11 hours. So it's about our guy. Uh, the archive terminal, Zarava. Club. Minutes. Hmm. Maybe there's something else about our guy, about the article. Deboltovskaya. Alcoff conversation. Mr. Every you do your plan to install me in an implantable module. I value your persistence, but I must repeat yet again. I have no desire for arms, legs, a hair, or the need to waste time eating and going to the bathroom. I'm fine, Dmitri, but your weak-minded desire to anthropomorphize everything under the sun is making me uneasy. Instead of thinking about how to put me into the head of some muscle-bound member of the Communist Youth League, why don't you find a way to cast off the burden of your own aging flesh? Uh, the heart of yeah, Charles. 
excerpt from technology for kids. Huh. So there is actually something interesting. Yes, yes, it's part of the experiment. You won't see anyone. Not me, not anyone else. Okay, subject. You will now have a conversation with two young women. Their names are Betsy. That's me. And Olga. Hello. I need you to talk to them and tell me which of the young ladies you spoke to is not a human being, but an artificially generated voice. Is that clear? Yeah, sure. I get it. You may begin. Uh, so, Betsy, do you have any kids? I'm afraid not. But I want to have two when I finish my internship in about three years or so. Huh. Okay. And here's the last one. Olga, could you ever kill someone? Me? I don't know. Maybe if they were an enemy or trying to hurt people. Yeah, I, I guess I could do it to protect the motherland. Excellent. We're done here. So, which of the two young women you spoke with is a machine? I think it's Betsy. Yes. So, you think Olga is human? That makes sense to me. No. Please note that I never told you that either of them was human. So they're both machines? Actually, none of the individuals you've spoken to during this experiment are human. Uh, thank you for your time. Please escort the subject out. Okay, that's good, that's good. Really interesting. Art of conversation, section of... Uh, plutonium is to be removed from Argandum. He will report directly to me, and as for this uh, linguistic oddity of his, leave it be. It will, it will give him elements of a new personality. Perform the necessary operations, install the module, and put him in a hospital room under surveillance. We can always turn a positive into negative. So, is it about uh, us? Stockhausen, Neptune Management Staff, Animation Deputy. Who are you planning to show this to? Huh. And another one. Das, uh, Pavlov Complex Manager Pavlov Nikitin. Report. Troubling issue. Confidential. Pavlov Nikitin. As a young man, Plutonium, now P3, was confident and funny, which played a key role in his assignment to Argentum. <laughs> he was a promising operative, but lagged behind many other candidates in a number of ways. However, so he's put on the you. positive influence and infectious good humor he imparted to his fellow servicemen, especially in comparison to the more morose Commander Kuznetsov, served as a compelling reason to recruit him. Because of this, the emergence of a more intimate relationship between him and Agent Blesna was only a matter of time. Okay, can you see that? This audio played three seconds more than there must be. Uh, Professor Zaharov, you don't understand me, or is it that you don't want to, or are you afraid to, of losing the man who will give you your brilliant future? No, I'm not particularly fond of the human race you love so dearly. But that's not the reason. Dmitri, I'm the only one who can sort out all the finer points from the inside. The implant can only be configured and analyzed from within the subject's consciousness. No test subject, whatever, whether it's, uh, it be a rat or even a human being, can perform this kind of research. You are preventing me from continuing my work. I don't understand how it's possible. Like, it's like a computer, right? Why? Like... Uh, the same persons actually ri uh, write from different computers. Like they must have their own uh, place to work, right? And all of these uh, males must be in on one computer, right? Am I missing something? I thought that's a logical thing. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, yes. Dr what? 3P. Oh, you've got a very large data exchange sector, Beacon. I'd like to interface with it. Okay, made to USSR. Section of Petrov. Attention, Equipment Manager. Provide me with two prototype ballerina bodies and disconnect them from the neural network. Delete their AI modules. I need two playing robots without any control systems. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Is there something else in here? Oh, yeah. Zakirina Yuzepova. Such enough. Agents Blesna and Plutonium are extremely valuable employees. Saving their lives is a top priority. I will perform the operation myself. So, Plutonium is our P3 guy. Ivalo. Okay, thank you, comrades. Nothing special. Okay, okay. I want to read more. Wait, I cannot jump right now. What? That's strange. Why can I jump? Lap assistant claim off. Let's go B2. Miss A10. Miss. Give up already. B10. Yeah. They're playing. Such enough. If I have told you once, I've told you a thousand times, Mitri. I don't want a new body. And it has nothing to do with me putting on airs. As you put it, there's just no point. I'm much more productive in this state. It's simply more practical and useful for myself and for you. You already have your Ekaterina dolls following you around. Leave me be. So, they actually put... Uh, like one or two interesting uh, males in every of them. Prediction department. Vavilov. Danielov's. Hemlock is demonstrating great deal. DVD. There must be more. Uh, Swabodin to Swabodin. Delete it. After the incident, Plutonium's brain was no longer suitable for a spark polymer extension. So I designed a similar polymer based brain function extension for him called Voschod. Cheriton, may he rest in peace, would be pleased to hear that his designs had not been wasted. Okay, session. Plutonium is recovering following neural adjustment and the installation of the Vosphod module. He has no memory of his wife, the events in Bulgaria, or even or any of the other data you indicated. He is an extremely tenacious, tenuous, psychological and emotional state. As a as an act active at Gentum agent, he is already fit for duty, awaiting your orders. P.S. Unfortunately, during a key phase of the adjustment, an employee expressed sympathy with the agent. Agents, uh, describing them as returning from their ordeal as crispy critters. This expression has since become an ex inextricable part of the agent's psychorhythmic and emotional background. Necessary, we could perform another adjustment in order to fix his linguistic oddity, but it will take time. Yeah, but you did nothing to it. You're still doing it. Last one. Are you cheating again? You sank my aircraft carrier E2. You sank my submarine D8. Why are you simple? If you got ahead A10, then there can't be anything at B10. Did you forget that you can put the ships right next to each other? Or is this gonna be like last time? Are you nuts? Do you really think I can't see that what you're doing from up here? Oh. 
Why are you using your workspace to play Battleship? They told me not to let the Claim of Brothers work together, but I didn't listen. If I see this again, I'll keep one of you here and have the other one transfer to Vavilov to plant potatoes. Get back to work. You won't be the one planting potatoes. Uh, Professor Zaharov. To Professor Zaharov. Why is this a psychological condition? In the magnum opus of the opium of the masses, the Bible, this is demonstrated clearly, if indirectly. Uh, man le learned of vice not after eating of a mystical fruit, but after coming to know himself. The body dictates vice to us. We want to procreate, so we become rapists and perverts. We want to eat, so we steal money and food. We want pleasure, so we surround ourselves with uh, senseless luxury. Man is not given to vice on his own. What pushes him toward it is his limited, primitive shell, which required food, sex, drugs, and care. Only the brilliance of pure intellect can eliminate mankind's path forward, because man is not a body, he is a way of thinking. Uh, stenography Depth Department Archive Sub from a paper by Lebedev To file with the N archive Okay, nothing special. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. I didn't see any. Oh, there it is. Here's another one. There's another one there. Let's go. I only need one for now. Of course. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and our Gentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Yeah. Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. And now, they're telling you nothing. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei That looks Nechayev. like a Pokeball. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? 
You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Yep. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? Because that's archives. The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. Huh? Strange. Behavior. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechinov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well, I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We really? need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen. The fucking gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed, but this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. 
You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechernov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... Yep. We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. Is it nothing here? Is coming. We can't be late. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Communism 2.0. And what I'm will really we get? I'm sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go again. No, not now. Not here. Perfect. So he kill will kill her. Yeah. She must have learned that this guy that it's a bad idea to actually use a we are all the same elevator the dark, my boy. each book from my father's library was nothing Once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my life. That book is human greed and human People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. now allow humanity to fully evolve they are all get rid of me and let robots toil for us who's there she's dead is she Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back lifted with very us, soon. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? You were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codename Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops Squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You yeah. worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. Wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. 
Oh, perfect. <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done with down, it. Lady. Then set an off-cut on everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest Why of the world. Why can't I get it? If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. So, see, he actually killed her. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, yeah, yeah. get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. I'm not laying a finger on such neck. I'm out. I had enough of this time. No. What? I can actually choose that? Whatever, lady, why don't you show me what in that arsenal of yours? It's definitely Whatever, not a good. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal? Okay, I don't know. Do we want to proceed? Data. I think that next might be the last battle, and that surely will be the end of it, right? And there's no map in here. Titan, testing round one, we were there, so yeah, we got through all of this, maybe we weren't in all of this uh, testing grounds, but that doesn't matter, right, right, so yeah, this will be apparently the end, so we will end it here, and the next time apparently we will end it so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed smash like if you did leave your comments and subscribe see you in next videos bye